So we hear a lot about menopause. I know I'm going to approach it soon. I know female family members have already gone through it, but we don't ever hear of the term andropause. So men go through menopause too? Oh yes, yes, but it's a much more gradual process, thank God, or we'd just be as crazy as you girls are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that midlife crisis, right. that's probably the result of a lot of andropausal symptoms. Okay. Uh, but our hormones began to, to decline uh, in the mid-20s, and they okay. declined for the rest of the person's life. Uh, and it's so gradual that a lot of times we don't notice it. We just notice we don't recover as quickly. We can't run as fast. We don't think as well. We don't remember things. Our libido goes down. Our performance sexually goes down. We get depressed, moody. All of these things start to happen until we finally realize we're not the person we used to be. And you look in the mirror and say, who are you? And that's when we decide or that's when we make a decision to go and see what can be done about it. And today, things can be done about that. Now, we hear a lot of commercials about low T, right? We hear... Uh, that's andropause. Okay. That's so what it is. That's yes. what andropause is. Unless it's a young person who has low levels of testosterone for other reasons. Okay. Yeah. So if you have low levels of testosterone that's happening gradually over time, it's not only sexual performance that it's affecting, though. You say in your book it, it's affecting a lot of other functions. Oh, it's affecting functions. a lot of things. You know, and I tell my patients, uh, the guys that are, are, that are reluctant to do testosterone, I say, well, the main thing is you want to protect your heart and your bones as well. Let's just not even concern ourselves with sexual performance and, and sexual desire. Let's think about your heart and your bones. You want to stay alive as long as you can in good health. And in your book, you're talking about let's let's not just treat the symptoms, which a lot of these medications that we see ads for on television want to do. Exactly. This actually gets to the root of the problem. Yes. So testosterone is at the root of the problem rather than treating these symptoms. Low testosterone is at the root of many problems, yes. And not just for men, right? Not just for men. That's how I got into it to begin with, with a lady whose testosterone was not measurable. <laughs> 